The Fountain of Youth. Does it exist? If so, where can I find it? Nobody seems to know, but researchers from two recent separate studies claim they know what may be aging us faster. And so sometimes the secret to youth is to avoid the things that do age us, except for this, guys. These are tough. Parents, you might have to sit down for this. According to the studies, both having kids and heavy snoring cause the kind of damage to human DNA that's been shown to make our cells age faster. In the first study, giving birth shortened the length of women's telomeres by around 4.2%. And, you know, as we've learned more about telomeres, you want them to be long. The longer they're at the end of your chromosome, the longer the better. And I feel bad because, you know, they, they, they conjecture that it's the stress of having a child. You're so bummed out because you also I snore. I both of these. I'm just have... like completely. So, <laughs> it's so a good thing I'm a dermatologist. <laughs> the heavy snorers, you know, it shortened their telomeres, um, which is not good. It also increased the risk of cancer in someone who's a heavy snorer. You are so bummed out by this. This has been bothering you all day. Yeah, no, I have been mentioning this. This is why he's saying this. Apparently, just being a parent or a mother specifically makes your telomeres, which he, as Dr. Stork said, is the ends of your DNA, and it's what kind of is associated with longevity. Apparently, because I have kids, mine are comparable to someone 11 years older than mine. It's stressful being so, a parent. How many yeah. parents And then I, like, but I told parents? you, look, you gotta be like, careful the study. You didn't have to do a study for that. I could have told you that. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> thank you, I mean, yeah, you're right. And their yeah, parents are high, higher risk for heart disease and diabetes. I'm telling you, kids are beautiful, but sheesh. Well, suck the life out of you, literally. I think I think they're worth every millimeter oh. of that telomere and every day you give up. Good answer. So well worth so it. I'd be a little careful here because you do not literally, we all know parents out there who live just as long, if not longer, yeah. than non-parents. So you gotta take these studies with a grain of salt because the other thing is there are things that you can do, you know, to lengthen those telomeres. For well, example, having sex once a week can help that, lengthen I the telomeres. I saw that. I read that to my wife. I'm reading this blue card. And I go, did you know that having sex at least once a week slows aging in women? But I think, but I, 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 but, but I, 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 put your red ball cream on and come on in. <laughs> but did you, but did you read the, the last part of it? It says, even if you don't enjoy being intimate, so you still get that benefit. So like when it happens and then you kind of smile and then roll over and like, huh. Oh. I didn't get anything out of this. Actually, you did. So, you did. I do. I like that. So you're always getting. You it's a gift that keeps but I think there, I think there's an important takeaway. Again, this is this isn't a study that looked truly at longevity. It just looked at these telomeres. Exactly. And I think that you can do a lot as a parent to help mitigate some of that stress. We've talked about stress relieving techniques on the show. We'll, we'll leave the sex to you, Drew, as the sex expert on the panel. But also, I think the other part of the study with heavy snorers and it shortening the length of their telomeres, I think anyone who has is a problematic snorer, you need to go talk to a sleep specialist to rule out sleep apnea, to rule out other causes of your snoring. And the thing with snoring is, if you snore but you still have restful, wonderful sleep, I don't think you have to be as concerned about this, right. but if it's interrupting your sleep, you you know, and then you combine that with being a parent of a newborn, you can understand how that would age someone's DNA. So I think that's why it's important. I don't know if you had, you've had formal evaluation or no. Have, but I think your point is so well taken because sometimes you read these studies and I have been panicking about these studies all day, so don't get me wrong, but they are basic science yes. studies. So please keep in mind, we don't really know the direct correlation between the length of your telomere and how long you're going to live because so many other habits come into play. You could do a study but, right now and it would be, I, I, I bet you if you did a study of parents versus non-parents and probably longevity is very similar. Yeah. I, I think, you know, because there's probably other things that happen through being a parent that we aren't measuring in this study.